Hey guys, SK here, back with another Clash Royale video, and today we are back at it with the Ramp Up Tournament. It has been a couple of days, I think, since my last video, but we did get from 0 wins all the way to 10, all in the same video. If you missed it, feel free to check it out on my channel. And yeah, today we're going to be doing some more Ramp Up battles uh, with 3.0 Expo Cycle. As always, I used Ice Spirit last time instead of Electro Spirit. I've always talked about Electro Spirit being better for global tournaments, but I did decide to use Ice. And it was pretty fun, so I think today we're going to be continuing. Um, before we get into things, I have a couple of announcements. So, uh, first of all, thank you guys so much for the support recently. I was actually in allowed to enable the Super Thanks feature on my channel, which if you guys aren't familiar with it, it's basically like uh, if you really enjoyed the video more than just liking it, um, you can give it a Super Thanks, which is like paid, and give a special message. It'll be highlighted, all of that stuff. Obviously, I'm not expecting anyone to do that nor am I going to ask you guys to do it on any of my videos, but if you do really enjoy it, um, the option is there, so pretty grateful that I was able to grow my channel a lot, and we have got that feature enabled. I, f I believe a few people have already actually done that as well, so thank you all so much. Um, I did uh, upload an Icebo video yesterday, and it was actually pretty well received, so you know, I'm not too fond of the ramp up tournament, honestly, because I guess it's just a heavier tournament, and I obviously love to play Expo in all the global tournaments because it's my favorite deck and archetype. So just Expo being less viable because of the heavier format makes it less enjoyable for me. Um, also, I was randomly pushing with Expo Cycle with Rocket on ladder. It was kind of fun. I was able to beat a pretty hard matchup. I guess that's kind of random, but uh, yeah. Anyways, I will be uploading at least one more ramp-up video, which is going to be this one that you're watching right now. Not sure if I'll do another one, since again, I'm not too fond of the format. Um, I might go from 15 to 20 wins if I feel up to it, but I also had a question for you guys. I recorded Betfist reaching 8,000 trophies and top 10 in the world with 3 Pinot Expo Cycle. Would you guys be interested in a video like that? Um, where I just share his games and my thoughts on them. Uh, but yeah, I guess that's going to be about it. We're going to be playing with 3 Pinot Expo Cycle, and le let's try and get five nice wins in the video today. But yeah, thank you guys all so much for the support on the channel. Been unbelievable. Even after my break, my views haven't really gone down at all, which isn't a huge deal even if they did. But it's just really nice, so yeah, thank you guys. But found the first match against Jesus XD. Let's give him the good luck and see what he's going to be playing. So yeah, I'm going to be playing with Ice Spirit, and it is risky since uh, we could be up against some kind of clone or heavier graveyard arrows decks, uh, or double big spells where you might need Electro Spirit like against a Skeleton King too. Um, but we'll see how it goes. We do see a Royal Ghost, and that could be some indication of a Bridge Bam deck, or a Three Musketeers with the Dark Goblin. I believe it's completely new territory, not entirely sure what this is going to be. Let's just go Skeletons after it crosses so that the tower can target it, and then I think we're going to Expo in the right, yep, because he goes Bandit in the left, uh, so we want to Expo opposite to where he wants to go, and he goes for a P.E.K.K.A., so we are going to have to let this Expo die, so let's just go Ice Spirit for the Bandit, and then go with a Knight in the middle to kite both the Bandit and the P.E.K.K.A., and I believe Knight will survive one P.E.K.K.A. hit, so yeah, we will be fine. We're going to Tesla the Ram Rider, and I think we have to log it too, um even though the tower is sadly on the P.E.K.K.A., but we are able to defend that fine. So it's going to be an interesting bridge bam deck, and in this kind of matchup, uh, Ice Spirit's definitely going to be better. In fact, against this Ghost... Okay, wow, really good prediction log by him, actually, but uh, against the Ghost, um, Ice Spirit would have been great if he didn't go for that prediction log. Um, but yeah, just going to defend, and let's fireball the Dark Omen. I could fireball it. I mean, sorry, let's log it. I could fireball it, but I don't want to overcommit like that. And since it is ramp up, I have a feeling he's going to be having a uh, Lightning in this deck. Not entirely sure, but okay, I was hoping the Tesla would catch the Ram Rider. It looked like it might not, um, but he might respond to the Ice Spirit. Does so with a log, so let's Expo, and then we do have a Tesla ready for his P.E.K.K.A. Um, and looks like he actually doesn't even get it down in time, but we're still just going to pre-Tesla, expecting the P.E.K.K.A. to come down on the Expo, or is he literally just going to give up? Okay, I guess he gave up uh, because he didn't have enough Elixir for the P.E.K.K.A. in time, and then... I guess he just decided it's not worth playing this match out, which I am not going to complain about. Um, but let's just try and 3-crown him. 3-crowns are always good in global tournaments because of the crown tiebreaker system. But I'm going to try and get some Expo damage because uh, Expo is a really hard card to level up in terms of mastery. And I need a lot more to uh, level it up. And I wanted Expo to be my first max level card mastery, but it might not even happen, sadly. Um just because of how long it's going to take. I think I'll probably get, like, Tesla or Skeletons at a max level first, but that's going to be a nice 3-crown to start the video off. 
um, yeah, pretty basic match there. I didn't really expo. Um, I expoed at the start to kind of test the waters, but then after that I kind of just waited for him to maybe overspend uh, or have a favorable situation for me before I went expo. Archers do get leveled up. I'm going to claim that. Level 5 archer is not bad. They are now gold. They're one of my favorite cards in the whole game, especially after their buff. And oh my god, look at these gems. Uh, 450 gems to be collected from the Archer Mastery, so card mastery is great. Um, if I haven't said it enough, I will say it again. It's one of my favorite parts of the update for sure. But let's keep it going. Um, looking for the next match against Omose, looks to be a Japanese player. Let's give him the good luck and see what's up. And uh, like I said in the last ramp up video, single elixir is going to be huge for 3.0 in this format because it's definitely going to struggle um, in a heavier elixir mode. Uh, like double and even triple and quadruple is going to be harder to get in connection. So single is going to be important. Let's expo and that Valk is opposite lane, which isn't the best Valk, I'd say. Um, I'm going to cut it out of expo range, actually. It goes for a rocket. We do get a few expo ticks on the tower, though, so we are in the damage lead. And looks like it's going to be log bait, so not a matchup I'm very fond of. But our opponent uh, is hopefully not going to play it too well. Okay, looks like... Yeah, he does mess up with guards as well, which I am not complaining about. I can actually ignore that. I believe one guard doesn't get any damage, just barely. But the two guards definitely will, so we do need to Ice Spirit that one. And against Logbait in general, you do want to cycle your cards in the middle. If they have Princess and Cycle, exactly like I was just uh, talking about. And let's Expo right away, because we have definitely outcycled his Rocket. Uh, yeah, it goes for a Valk and then E-Spirit. Let's Knight. It goes for a Tesla, so that's actually going to retarget the Expo. Um, but if he doesn't get a Valk down, okay, he does. Then the Expo would have been even more devastating but we are going to cycle back to another expo as well so he should be committing yeah he commits a log so we're back to another expo let's go in right now and we're just keeping up the pressure he's going to go guards which tells me he might not rock it so i'm going to go knight okay now i think he will rock it since i did commit the knight um yeah he does but we get another nice connection and again just going to cycle cards in the middle against uh log bait when they have princess and cycle just because wow he is letting that knight go to work on the left i do not agree with that and we have basically won this match already as bestiné says it is gg already even though <laughs> sometimes he says that off the first play which is hilarious but uh i think it is actually going to be gg because he has he's taken way too much damage in both lanes like yeah and he's forced to go for a desperation rocket let's expo tesla the bridge we can afford to do this because usually this would be a bad play but it's fine right now because he does not have uh Rocket and cycle, and we are definitely going to outcycle. So, okay, Expo is actually on tower, and if he rockets, goes for a Tesla instead. Disagree with that because obviously it doesn't really do the trick. And uh, yeah, we're actually just going to. He wow, our opponent is playing this pretty badly. No offense to him, but he is really just letting the Expos go to work. We're going to Tesla up high, and I think that's going to be GG. Let's try and get once again Expo star level uh, or Expo mastery value. With the Expo 3 crowning, um, that would be ideal, uh, because, again, I do like my Expo card mastery. But yeah, really nice win against Logbait. Um, this, unfortunately, wasn't a very instructive game because our opponent didn't play the best. But I would still say, you know, even if your opponents don't play well, you can still play well yourself. And uh, like in my case, I can still try and teach you guys the good plays I made in spite of uh, how bad my opponent played. And basically, the main takeaway I'd like to share is if they have Princess and Cycle. You do want to cycle cards in the middle against Logbait because, as you saw, that actually set me up for my second offensive expo with the archers to counter push. Um, I think all my commons are actually max, so. And most of my epic should be too, actually. Yeah, so lots of gold from that lightning chest. Pretty nice. Uh, almost getting up there to 15, which will unlock all the global tourney rewards. So that's why I like to use 15 as a stopping point um, because it's kind of high enough to the point where. Uh, like, you guys would be satisfied with that. Like, if I started at 20 wins, it would obviously be higher. But I like to get my global tourney content out as early as possible. And going from 0 to 10 is honestly just because you guys all really wanted it. Even though it's a lot more effort, it's honestly worth it. Um, since it's just longer content too. And then I think 10 to 15 is just the perfect sweet spot. Um, so that's why I'd honestly be fine if I just get to 15 today and don't upload any more ramp up videos. Especially if you guys do want to see that Betfist video I talked about. I will probably upload it tomorrow if you're interested. Um, but we do see a Skelly Barrel. Sadly, the Ice Spirit froze it just out of tower range. Or else I don't think we would have taken the drop damage. But Skelly Barrel tells me it's going to be either Skeleton Barrel Log Bait, like Double Barrel. Or it could be Mortar Bait with Skeleton Barrel. Or it could be uh, some kind of clone deck. And I feel like the clone deck is the most likely considering the format. 
But we do see a miner, and I believe that means it's going to be mortar bait. So, I don't think with Skeleton Barrel they usually run a cannon cart. So let's actually expo with this knight right now. And it should be a pretty threatening push. I do have Firewall and Cycle if he wants to do anything. And he does have a rocket, unfortunately. So minor rocket going to be a pretty hard matchup. To be honest, if he has like double barrel bait with rocket... I think it's actually going to be his matchup um, because of the fact that he has Rocket in there. But it depends what else he has. Like, if he doesn't have a Cycle card, that'll definitely be to our advantage. If he does have a Princess, that'll suck. But I hope he doesn't because he does have a Dart Goblin in there. And let's actually just Spell Cycle, to be honest, because um, against a Rocket deck, it might be hard to get damage with Expos. Let's try and catch the Miner with Archers. No need to go Knight because... I'd rather save Knight for... Okay, and he goes Recruits. Wow, this is like the weirdest deck ever. I don't know why he has Rocket and a recruit deck, but I guess that's Defensive Expo. Ideally, he just Rockets it. Um, actually, he just Rockets Tower, which I guess is also fine. Let's uh, Tesla for the Skelly Barrel. Looks like he does not have a Goblin Barrel. So his, he actually has three win conditions in this deck, which is kind of crazy. We're actually going to ignore that Miner, go in for an Expo. Pretty smart Bomb Tower by him, but maybe I can catch him off guard with this Fireball. Let's see if we can. And he just barely gets recruits down in time, unfortunately. But we're going to go knight, maybe predict the Dark Goblin. Okay, unfortunately, he goes Barb Barrel instead. Um, but hopefully this can still be a nice connection because, I mean, anything is necessary. Okay, nice. And let's go Archers to snipe the Miner. This is getting very scary, honestly, because uh, as the game goes on, it's definitely not going to favor me considering the fact that he does have Rocket plus recruits. Let's go knight to predict the Bomb Tower. Perfect, we hit it. And I'm just hoping he doesn't have enough elixir for recruits in time. Let's take out the miner as soon as possible. And perfect, we took it out, so he has to go for a late rocket. But we're just going to keep up the expo pressure. Thank god I thought I actually misplaced that. I did not. Recruits is back. Uh, so let's go... Wow, five recruits in the same lane. I've not actually really seen that before. Let's go Tesla down low. What that'll do is it'll also target the miner afterwards. So nice, and I catch it with skeletons. And we are actually in the damage lead. And expo actually gets a connection. That's huge. Going to keep up the pressure. Um, although this is not the best for me, considering I don't actually have my login cycle against these recruits. That would obviously be ideal. But I am back to it now. Although I do have to go for a Tesla for this Skeleton Barrel again. And Knight for the Skeletons, or else they're going to swarm my tower. And we are still winning, but it's looking very dicey, not going to lie. Because he has recruits. Okay, recruits in the back. Oh no, I misplaced my Expo. That kind of sucks, but let's see if he notices. Looks like he does not notice, actually, so that is... Fine, yeah, he did not notice. He actually fully committed to it. Let's try and catch this miner. Nice. And, okay, he goes for a rocket, so we're going to have to try and punish him for that. So let's go fireball the Dark Goblin, and then he goes for a defensive bomb tower, so let's expo, and let's catch the miner with Ice Spirit Skeletons. If he does rocket this, we're going to actually log plus fireball the tower, and then get a Tesla down. And this is going to be very scary, to be honest, because I do want to spell cycle him. At the same time, I have to watch out for his rocket cycle. Um, plus, I have to try and catch his miners. Nice, thank god we caught that miner. Um, and I guess let's just fireball cycle. Uh, I think I'm hoping it's going to be enough with all these fireballs. I'm actually just going to start cycling my logs too. And that's going to be two fireballs away. So let's try and catch this miner in the back. Nice, we caught it. And then it's actually just going to be one fireball away. So, oh my god, that was a pretty stressful game. Uh, but we were able to win against Royal Recruits, Miner, Rocket, which I would say is kind of a hard matchup because he also has Barb Barrel and Bomb Tower for the Expo. He also has Dart Goblin. He has a lot of Log Bait in there, um, which can make it kind of hard for me to get good value. My archers are working their way up to getting Masteried up. So is my Knight. Knight is honestly so slow though with Punching Bag, and even Tesla with Hitmaker is pretty slow in my opinion. But yeah, I would say that's a pretty hard matchup, and uh, that definitely gets harder as Ramp Up goes on as well because of the fact that he can just Rocket Cycle and he has infinite elixir to spam his recruits and everything to tank for my expo forever. But very glad we were able to win that. Hopefully it helps you guys with kind of general expo game plans against those harder matchups too. We are at 13-0 and 0 now. Let's keep it going. Hopefully we can get a nice clean 15-0. Even if we can't, I'd be fine with like 15-1 and 1 or something. Anything below that is kind of bad for me, but 15-1 and 1 isn't too bad, especially if we get a hard matchup. But we do see a barb barrel here. Uh, so not sure what it could be. Hopefully not Golem. That would kind of suck. But just going to cycle a log. And he says wow for some reason. Let's cycle skeletons and recruits. Yikes. Okay, so I guess recruits are going to be very popular in this format. Hopefully I can show you guys how I like to play against it. Even though I actually really don't like this matchup personally. But we're going to go test on the middle. He goes for Royal Hogs. Let's go with an Ice Spirit to freeze all of them up. Let's get a nice log. 
and then skeletons in the middle, and then we also have to go for a knight, I think. Sadly, one recruit's going to lock on. That's kind of my mistake, I guess. We're going to have to suffer the damage for that. And, wow, that's a lot of damage. That actually kind of sucks. Um, yeah, there's going to be a hard counter, guys, because he has the arrows in here as well. I just really hope he doesn't have the gold knight in there. If he does, that is just going to be tragic. But we're going to fireball the zappies, uh, because we kind of have to get tower damage somehow. And just going to reset with a center Tesla. I have a feeling he's going to go with recruits in front. Yes, he does. So, let's try and cycle back to our fireball and get a nice fireball on the flying machine. And then let's go for another Tesla for these pigs because that's definitely going to be a very threatening push. Let's actually get some nice log value on all of that too. And for some reason he's going arrows on my right side tower even though he wants damage in the left. So that's a bit strange to me. Um, definitely could have gone hit with arrows in the left still hitting the Tesla. But I'm pretty happy with that I guess. And he goes for a cage. Okay so it is going to be the cage version. I think fireballing that would be a bit too premature. Uh, so let's just go with the knight in the back and then... Tesla, and let's actually log fireball the recruits. This is going to be extremely aggressive, guys, but considering the situation, I think it calls for aggression. Um, plus, we are actually going to defend this fine. We are back to another log if we need it. Don't even think we need it, which is the great part. Can just go with the center Tesla, and he's starting to fireball cycle, so I think I have to fireball cycle him back. And so, the reason this is a hard counter is because he has arrows with his recruits pushes, which is going to be why it's really difficult. But we're going to try and make something happen. Goes for Royal Hogs. And let's go Tesla, yep, after he goes arrows, go Tesla then. Then let's go knight to make sure these recruits don't stab my tower. And that's actually going to be a nice defense. Flying machine comes down. That's going to be a lot of fireball value if he uh, gives me with the zappies, and he does. And then actually was able to hit some recruits too, so let's just Tesla in the middle once again. And if he goes royal hogs, I'm actually back to another fireball. I'm actually just going to fireball here. Uh, yeah, he fireballs the Tesla, which is a pretty good play, but... I was ready, and now that he uses Fireball, I think we can take advantage of that and go with a defensive expo. Um, and let's try and snipe this flying machine with Knight plus Archers, I think. Hopefully, okay, the Archers don't target, so I do have to go with a Fireball anyways. Kind of sucks, but let's go for a Knight. I don't want to go Log, actually. I'd rather go Log on his actual Royal Hogs, if possible. And we are in, actually, times four right now, so it is ramping up. Um, let's cycle rapidly to defend that took one rail hog hit that's not too bad and then he is actually starting to arrow cycle too so i'm intentionally giving him value in the left because i want him to use spells in the or in the right i mean because i want him to use spells in the right if possible and he is literally just fireball cycling so i guess i'll just fireball cycle him back goes for recruits again but i do have four archers stacked right now and he's choosing to just cycle arrows instead of actually take getting value on my archers. So look at these archers putting in some crazy work because of his aggressive arrows. And I can actually expo right now. Um, and I have four archers on the field, so yeah. Okay, not maybe not the best expo, but still, uh, I thought I might as well take advantage of the uh, archers being alive. In any case, keeping the Tesla alive with the fireball. And now that he used his uh, fireball again, let's defense vex. But now it's times five. This is going to be very hectic, guys. Might actually be hard to commentate too. Just because of how hectic times five is, but I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna try my best to go with my archers in an anti-spell placement, and he's okay. He's actually catching up uh, with spell damage, so we definitely have to start fireballing his tower now. Absolutely no uh, other choice. And again, stacking archers. He just fireballed nothing, I believe, which I am pretty happy about. And then. Let's try and get a nice fireball on the flying machine this time because, again, I cycled so rapidly in the left that and the right. I mean, again, it's very hectic to commentate, but that, I believe that's actually just going to be another log. So let's just cycle super fast, and that's going to be GG against a hard counter. Nice, let's go. Um, it would have been even worse if he had Golden Knight. Thankfully, he didn't. That would have just been like a straight-up impossible matchup. But because we were able to outplay him, basically, we were able to win. And that, a lot of that came from just abusing the fact that he only wanted spell damage in one lane. So I was basically able to uh, intentionally play my archers in the right lane since he wanted spells in the left. And also defensive expos after a certain point uh, got a lot of value. And just protecting my Teslas with fireballing the Royal Hogs or protecting against the Flying Machine, fireballing the Flying Machine, all of that. A uh, really hard matchup. And, uh, yeah, I would say it's even more impressive to win that because it was ramp-up, which means it favors them even more as time goes on. 
but I'm happy I was able to win that 14 and 0. Actually, a lot of people have been asking for how to win against recruits, so hopefully that helps you guys out, especially in a format more difficult like this. Um, spell cycle is basically the option. You saw I went for an expo once. I had four archers, but they just melted to the arrows. So I think no offensive expos are ideal unless it's like single, um, and you find a good opportunity. But yeah, 14 and 0. Let's see if we can get the faded 15 and 0. A wonderful, perfect start to the global tourney. Found a match against T Jark, or is it Tiark? I'm not sure. By the way, um, from the clan 187. Let's give him the good luck, and let's try and get a nice final match to the video. So, I think I'm gonna hover log to play it as my first play. But I wanted to wait like a few seconds to see if he was gonna do anything. Obviously, he didn't, so log is fine. Um, and goes Ice Wiz, so I'm actually just gonna fireball that, I think. I really hope it's going to be Graveyard, because uh, that would be a pretty good matchup for me. Let's just take the Fireball value, I guess, even though it's a bit of a heavy commitment. Goes Tombstone as well, so yeah, it is definitely looking to be Splash Yard, and I'm very happy with this matchup. Uh, let's see if he has Skelly King or Valkyrie, though. It is going to be Skelly King, so this is, again, going to be a very good matchup for me. Um, and he actually has no ground troops in hand right now, so I actually might just Expo. He logs nothing, I don't know why, but yeah, Expo here, because he literally has no ground troops in hand. Again... He might have the Ice Wizard now, but I'm actually going to Knight in front as opposed to Knight for the Skelly King. Just because he might go Ice Wiz and then log all of that back. Okay, sadly he gets the Tombstone down just in time, but I think Expo does still get a nice connection and he logs. Okay. I don't know why he has log actually. That's very strange. Usually they all have Bar Barrel, but that's not too bad anyways. Let's see. He goes Ice Wiz in the back. Let's just Fireball it. And if he goes Skelly King, I'm going to Expo Opposite right away. Goes Baby Dragon. Let's still Expo Opposite because we do have this pre tassel Wow. Pretty bad Skelly King by him. Going to log the Tombstone. I think that's going to be a guaranteed connection for us. Yes, it is. Uh, so that's huge. And he has to go log. And then he might go Ice Wiz in front. Let's just go Skellies in case. Uh, but even still, that should basically be GG already. Um, in true best in a fashion. Just because of the fact that uh, we have such an early lead. And this is a good matchup regardless. Let's go Knight. I think that Baby Dragon was going to bypass. So yeah, nice Knight to cover. And now we can actually just start spell cycling. There's no reason not to. We don't need to be too aggressive with our Expos. Uh, let's actually just Tesla the bridge. Might be a bad play. And I actually don't even know if he has a graveyard, to be honest. Uh, because he has not revealed. Okay, looks like he might go Skeleton Graveyard the bridge. Good play you can do against graveyard players. You can block their graveyard tank at the bridge. If you are absolutely sure they're going to graveyard... And then you'll have an easy time defending the Graveyard, as you saw there. Even if they poison the um, Archers. And by the way, now that it's triple, our Expo's going to get a ton of value. Because I've said this before, but as the time goes on in the match, buildings get more value as the Elixir format changes. Because, um, also let's just log. When they go poison on your uh, Archers, you usually want to have a log ready as a backup. But yeah, buildings get more value because Elixir is flowing faster. And you are... Uh, having more value coming out of the same thing so the defensive expo and single elixir would be kind of useless right because it's uh it's single elixir generation very slow but in triple it's different because there's a lot more that uh, comes down and it gets more value and i don't know if i'm making sense because i'm also trying to say gg and stuff at the same time but yeah if, if that makes sense basically um your get your expos get more value as time goes on especially if they don't poison it like that guy was dead set on poisoning my archers like, with a graveyard so uh that was just a really nice um example of defense vex was being really good and again you are able to do that with expo uh, if you're if you're a bit too passive of a player or you find you play expos on offense they don't work out you can defense vex after getting one connection and that is definitely a play style you can go for if you personally prefer it but that's going to be a nice and very clean 15 and 0 no losses with 3.0 ice spirit in the ramp up tournament had some pretty difficult matches today a recruits definitely a very hard match overall um this one was probably the hardest this was the second hardest log bait is also a pretty hard matchup i'd say especially as the time goes on um, but we were able to win because he didn't really play the best, honestly. This was just a pretty easy matchup, and then Graveyard as well, a pretty easy matchup to end things off. Especially with a log instead of Barbell, so he doesn't even have very good Graveyard counters. By the way, some people don't know how to beat this matchup. I would say just don't be too aggressive with your Expos, but remember that with Champions, they have a very weird cycle. So th they cycle back to the Champion after it dies in three cards, not after they place it down. So you can take advantage of the fact that his main Expo tank, the Skelly King, will be out of cycle when it dies, and you can maybe Expo then, make something happen, uh, log the Tombstone if you need to make an Expo connection happen, and 
Otherwise, just go for a center Teslas, uh, go in when they overcommit with poison against your archers, stuff like that. But yeah, I would say this is definitely the best match of the video. Very glad I was able to win, and hopefully it was a nice takeaway for you guys too. But yeah, that's going to be the video, guys. Uh, here are my very unfortunate GC logs. I was playing with different decks, so I believe this one was with Royal Giant. This was with Mortar. Um, so, unfortunate. Don't know why I went into that, actually. But yeah, I guess that's going to be it. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. That's a nice 15 and 0. And again, I'm not sure if I'll do another Global Tourney video just because it's not too fun for me. I mean, it is honestly fun, like, when I have nice matches like today. But I know when I get higher, I'm going to be up against, like, Graveyard Poison Fireball and Lava Hound Lightning Poison. Like, just stupid decks like those and Golem Lightning Arrows, Golden Knight, uh, which Expo is just very much not favored in. Um, but, yeah, we actually did really well with a just undefeated with through Pano Ice Spirit. So yeah, that's going to be it though, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, a lot of people did ask for a part two to the ramp up, so I figured I would oblige. Um, but yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care, and I will see you in the next one.